Afghanistan remains awash in opium, despite $8.2 billion in American taxpayer dollars spent since 2002 to curb its rampant drug production and trade. A U.S. Reconstruction watchdog concluded Thursday, the country's own drug use rates remain among the highest in the world, according to a new quarterly report by the congressionally mandated Special Inspector General for Afghan Reconstruction, or SIGAR. A 2014 World Drug Report by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime confirmed Afghanistan again leads the world in opium production and for the third consecutive year saw more land being used for poppy farming a record 520,000 acres, despite U.S. efforts. But it looks like the U.S. military has had about enough, with 9,800 American troops focused on training Afghan forces and running counterterrorism missions before withdrawing in December 2016. Sigar reported that the Defense Department will use $2.8 billion earmarked for counter-narcotics activities this year to pay for other needs. In all, Congress has appropriated $109 billion for Afghanistan reconstruction since 2002. For years, American military and policy leaders favored an aggressive approach to poppy eradication that fostered resentment among local farmers and put money in the pockets of warlords, who then were contracted to do the work. But as part of the war's more recent counterinsurgency missions, more of an effort was made to introduce alternative crops, which also failed. An Afghan opium continues to flood drug markets, including 90% of Canada's supply and 85% of the worldwide market, according to the Cigar Report. Yet hardly any Afghan heroin makes its way to the United States, despite the growing appetite for the drug. Overall, the UN found that Afghan heroin accounted for only 4% of drugs sold in the United States. In Afghanistan itself, a full 11% of the population tested positive for one or more drugs, according to the UN's survey. To put that into context, the global average is about 5.2%.